Japan's energy policy has depended on nuclear reactors as an inexpensive way to generate electric power, but that stance may be changing. The review of Japan's policy on nuclear power use, research, and development was suspended after the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant in March. It resumed last month. A subcommittee tasked with calculating the cost of nuclear power was set up by the Commission on Tuesday. For the first time, it will take into account the cost of compensation for possible nuclear accidents. They will debate the amount of actual compensation, along with costs involved in decontamination cleanup and reactor decommissioning after nuclear accidents. Specialists, citizens, and the world are paying attention to our discussion. It is my hope that we can produce an objective estimate. The subcommittee will also calculate the cost of recycling spent nuclear fuel by extracting plutonium, a main pillar of the current nuclear policy. It will also estimate the cost of discarding it as waste. While the Commission plans to release its overall cost estimate by March, projections for the costs of accidents will be submitted to a government panel currently reviewing Japan's energy policy before the end of this month. It's been seven months since the March 11th earthquake and tsunami that devastated northeastern Japan. As winter season is approaching, many disaster survivors are now in need of protection against the cold weather. Police say the death toll as of October 7th stood at 15,761. In the hardest hit prefectures of Iwate, Miyagi and Fukushima, 2,231 people are still living in 205 shelters, but more and more people are moving into temporary housing.